Hi, beautiful, wonderful, amazing souls. Just trialing out this new spread, new layout. Okay, I hope you're really, really well. I've got two energies out here. Let's see who they are. This energy, please, spirit. We've got a defender here, someone who's a defender. We've got knight, a special intelligence, bodyguard, mercenary. And who have we got over here? Ooh. The Wild West. Other cowboy, a settler. Got fire energies out here. I'm going to call the signs, but it doesn't have to be. It could be just speaking to that energy. So we've got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. That energy is speaking to physical self appearance over leadership, a higher education, spirituality, or religion. Speaking about some type of karma here. Book burning, branding, house fires, persecution. This Wild West energy. They're giving me a lot of past energy, secrets sitting on the bottom. They're also giving me a brother. Speaking about Indigenous person, this is speaking to cultural culture energies. They're also giving me priestess, a high priestess, a sacred way for passage, someone who's very sovereign in their beliefs. They have their own beliefs. They are their own person, indigenous. This energy is speaking to spiritual, religious energies, knowledge. Defender here with the night. A masculine energy with a strong feminine energy, a wise feminine within a masculine, someone who's a masculine who can create abundantly. Okay, so with book burning here, they're giving me evidence of the past being removed, hiding, especially with secrets there. Okay, interesting energies. They're showing me the uh, Orion's Animal Tarot. So let's see what this energy is about. This is a collective timeless reading. So these two are the energies here for this particular spread. Defender with Bodyguard. Special Intelligence. Indigenous Person. Bodyguard, cowboy, the night, the house fire. So remember we've got ties to a brother here. Someone who has a parent in common. It could be both parents, it can be one parent in common. Especially with Indigenous here, we're talking about some type of ethnicity. Tradition with ideals and customs. Let's see what this energy is here with Defender, the Knight. Six of Cups. So this six energy is giving me work, but it's sitting outside the second house. Actually, I seen this card originally with as puppies, as dogs, but they're, they're lambs. On first instance, it's about sitting and defending loyalty, but that's what the dog means. But in second sight, we're talking about a lamb here, two lambs, purity and innocence, something childlike, they're young here. So defending two, two concepts, cups speaking about emotions outside the second house, how this energy feels about money and finances, about defending their beliefs around their security. 
This is someone who defends their knowledge, protects themselves and the things that they keep around them. Got yellow flowers here. Growth with personal power, the solar plexus. Having motivation and confidence to defend oneself for what they believe is right. And this is emotionally driven. Generally, cards facing down are energies outside of this energy, but this card's pointing towards Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius. So this energy is talking about transformation and change, facing fears with regards to social the social environment, community or group of people, fulfilling wishes with regards to spirituality, higher beliefs, philosophy, higher education. This masculine energy is giving me visions, past, present and future. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find this reading is when you're meant to hear it. Ninth house, it's specifically sitting in and we've got the Ten of Cups here. Ten of Cups, six to ten. Six and ten is sixteen, but I'm just going to put one and six together in terms of the houses, physical appearance and about how someone moves about to their daily routines, how they work with their body, how they use their body to get outcomes. This could be talking about work, how someone navigates the world generally. But the Ten of Cups is complete fulfillment, wish fulfillments, especially tying to that Aquarius energy in the 11th house is fulfillment of wishes. The fox here, you've got two foxes, two lambs and two foxes, two and two, balancing some type of belief regards to two. We did say before there was ties to a brother or a shared parent or shared parents, the same parents or same singular parent, someone who's got connections to four, four above, four below. This particular energy over here with the fox, they're generally shy. They're shy in nature, but it's talking about spiritual wisdom, intelligence, medicine, difficult situations coming to surface here, especially that ties into the defender. A defender or a knight is someone who is given a quest and their quest is to defend their right of belief. Yellow and orange here, personal power and creativity. This person is sensual. They desire sensuality or others desire them in a sensual aspect what else for the defender here the tower so this sh sudden shifts and changes the defenders marching right over to the wild west could actually be the west of where you live or this is talking about pastimes where things were underdeveloped working through building societies we've also got other it's of another form not like it is now, or this is working towards something different. We've got the tower here with the tiger fish. The tiger fish is quite exotic in the way that it moves in the ocean. Tying into fire energies here with the burning book. This defender, this knight, is walking over into transformation and change. That's the direction they're headed in. See, the defender here is on a horse, but we don't really see the horse, but the horse is over here. Like agility, modes of transportation, cars, movement, traveling to different places. The tower, sudden shifts and changes with regards to fire energies. Fire generally is like the wands in the deck, so it's talking about Bringing thought into action can also be tied to magic, magical energy, because it's all about intention. The thought is the action and there's the intention. 
this night has traveled through like a mountain here, but there's like swirling smoke, but they're showing me the smoke as the journey through the mountains. So there's been like a, a high risk journey that this knight has had to uptake to head on. They're at the end of the hard road travelled. I am going to switch decks for this energy here. Clarify the tower for the night coming into the Wild West and burning of knowledge. This energy signifies competition, planning to compete. The Five of Wands fighting for legacy, fighting for loyalty or royalty in this particular energy. Fighting for family, fighting amongst family. Fighting for what they believe is right within their heart center. The way these cards came out, it's like the heart center is hidden, so the true motives of oneself is not on the surface. This knight is marching into a quest that they have a particular outcome that they need to, to undertake, right? Because they've got to come back and report to the kings, to someone in charge, someone who they take information from. They're acting on behalf of someone else. But we've got burning books here, competition for knowledge, competition for what's right within the heart space, but the intention of the heart is not clear in this energy. So hence the tower, it's, it's a sudden shift or an awareness of, wow, that is dealing with something here that brings a lot of tension and chaos. And generally the night does endure that energy. This energy sitting in the fourth house these cards were tied to the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. This energy is fighting for what they believe to be right in their foundations, in their upbringings, in their home, tied to family. But what I'm getting here is that this energy is fighting for something that they, they believe in, but it's like without the knowledge being retained, it's like they don't know why they're fighting or they don't know what they're preparing to fight for. They believe it's for family or for some type of connection, but there's like a hidden motive here, secrets. Things being hidden from another intentionally. The fourth and the fifth house, talking about home, family, early foundations. This speaks to the mother's ancestry, feeling safe, but it's like, the Ace of Cups is having an open heart, but it's like having an open heart to fight, to compete, to compare, to kick one down just to get to the top, to disregard another's journey because their own journey is more important. The Fifth House talks about speaking in leadership. This energy here is having fun in discrimination or taking pleasure in bringing another down or disregarding someone else's knowledge. Where's this going, spirit? What else for here? Energy tied to this circle, this person or this, this situation, someone else they're dealing with in the ninth house is death and rebirth. So I feel like when this knight encounters the Wild West, they're giving me the situation of discovering what information has been kept from them, is that it brings in a new perspective, a new way to see things. One in three, someone navigating the world, they're thinking about siblings or thinking about 
how it is that they got there. The death in the tower sitting over here, this is the connection of the two. Sudden shifts and changes and transformation and change. These cards, Aries and Scorpio, this energy is talking about seeing a sudden change or shift over one's appearance. What else for the defender here? Outside of the defender, but sitting in the 10th in the 11th house is the chariot. Yeah, they're moving. Someone's moving for them. This person is known publicly or has some type of image that they have to uphold to. This is sitting in the father's ancestry, where this energy is the mother's ancestry. This is talking about having security in being able to move around but also having the support of the community that believes in their moving. So the eagles here, the eagle soars high up to the sky. This is taking on some type of altitude where other animals, other birds aren't able to take to. There's an outburst or an upheaval of some type of truth being spoken to. This night is fully protected equipped with the right equipment to defend themselves. But this knight is also alone. So whether this is returning to a home space, whether you, this energy looks or resembles their father within or on the outside, this energy is mother's heritage. So we've got mother, father, brother, cultural priestess and brother. I said brother twice, so yeah. What else for this energy? First and second house. This energy on the surface appears to be romantic, but the Knight of Cups for me is giving a new a new gesture of love but don't forget this energy is in competition for love the horse is here again we've got three horses here three connections to siblings three and three being creative as a communicative person expressing oneself the search and the, the quest for freedom, independence, being noble, the knight here with the knight of cups. These could be a brother and a brother. But we've got someone who's the priestess out of the brothers. This death and rebirth here in the ninth house they're having a change to their beliefs and what they choose to fight for, how they see life overall. This energy is connected to three. So whether this person has three children or is one of three siblings on the other side. This energy is looking for success. But they've also had knowledge kept from them or taken from them. in order to seek some type of new opportunity. Death and rebirth with the mind, seeing things clearly, being able to take a step forward. This is the defender here and the chariot. Where's their movement heading to? Ten of Wands. This knight has carried quite a burden, quite the burden, specifically with the 12th house. So this is spiritually. This person has been persecuted for their beliefs. They've carried a heavy weight. What they've been through helps them with their journey forward. Even though the weight of the world was on them, the burdens from everyone else, they were carrying the burdens for this other person. 
external energy over the defender. Five of Wands. This person was persecuted since birth, since they were born. For the way that they think, the way that they act. There's also ties to over the chest. Breathing. This person's got a lot of love and compassion and drive for what they do. Lots of ones energy here. One, two, three. So the knight, the five, and then the ten. Ten and five is giving me being seen in the public image, walking along their purpose with hard work and discipline, especially through the father's lineage. Striving for with romance, being creative, having fun as though they are a child, their inner child. There's some type of connection between these two knights, whether it's family or whether it's – but there's some type of competition over the heart space here and this energy has carried a lot more burdens where this energy over here has – has not been told everything, but they've also had to fight for something that they weren't told the truth about. We're going to close out the reading very soon. Why hasn't this person external energies outside of this person? I feel like we've got the priestess showing up here, which we had the high priestess energy coming up earlier. This person's been denied access to some type of knowledge that is fundamental to who they are. In connection to this person, it brings shifts and changes. Got the Four of Pentacles. This person had to defend what they have, what they own, without knowing that something has been kept from them. This person has strived for the Nine of Pentacles, but this energy is sitting outside of them and it was face down. I feel like twice over, or perhaps this energy is connecting to this energy. This person's dealt with the feminine, past, present. Maybe they've competed over two feminines. One was bountiful and plentiful. The other was or is obnoxious, takes what isn't theirs. They also use this over this person as in you don't know your history, you don't know what's been hidden from you. So it's like this person has had to compete and fight for what they believe in the heart but that's been disconnected from them. Why is this energy's connecting spirit? It's been connection over stress, sleepless nights. Because of some type of happiness has been kept from the two. Now, how do I close out this reading spirit? We've got the high priestess here. So someone who's able to receive downloads. Angels are coming in to bring some type of balance into a situation here. This person's going to start receiving a bit more love in their life, a bit more truth from the things hidden from them. And they're being moved into a place where they're able to gauge their emotions. The release of secrets brings this person justice and happiness, fulfillment of good karma. This energy is... This could also be in-laws, father's line connected here, mother's line connected there. This person's working through the Ten of Swords, betrayal, the past where people have persecuted this person, even though they're acting in their right to pursue what they were told to do.
a lot of night energies here. So this person's very youthful in the way that they do things. They're very, they're full of energy like a child, but yet they have heavy responsibility on the quest that they have to undertake. Maybe this person at work has a lot more responsibility than others, even though they aren't the leader. Whereas this person's had a bit more freedom to connect with their intuition. Maybe this person had to connect with their intuition because of the information that's been withheld from them, from truly experiencing love in the first instance. They weren't told the truth. So this person seeks spiritual wisdom and this person's removing past pain. Nine of Wands. The Empress. We've got someone who's very spiritual and then someone who's the creative. But they create from their inner child. They also defend two and two, four. Home and family foundations as well. So there's like a clash here. This person has been put through a lot of betrayal, backstabbing, mistrust, mistruth from others. But they've followed the, the divine plan all along. They've also mastered themselves through all the burdens. We've got the Queen of Wands. So there's someone here who's connected to magic, who's dictating this person's Dictating this person's ability to live freely. Maybe if this is like two brothers or an in-laws that's connected to one feminine. The feminines get something from them too or these are like a feminine with two partners. Interesting. These are also connecting family lines. This could also be this person moving into the mother's ancestry, so coming from the father's ancestry into the mother's ancestry. This is talking about having to compete and fight for the heart space but not really sure why or what So, because, you know, they're on this quest over here. But it brings this transformation and change. And if this person is coming into this situation, they're developing their own intuition through the journey of the day and the night, the dark, the light, okay, through secrets to exposure. The tower is also bringing down the foundations that built this person up for restructure. If this person's coming into this energy, it's talking about being aware that knowledge has been kept from them, fighting towards the change so that they can strive for the passion that they feel like they believe in. Mm. I'm going to close the reading out there. This one was interesting. Let me know how it resonates. Could be speaking about uncles here, mother's father, mother's line, father's line. I could be speaking about a feminine who has two couples. So one could be the past, one can be the present. But this is the beginning of some type of connection to the heart and what someone has had to go to to get there, to find the heart space. Okay, I'm going to close out the reading. Thank you so much for your time. This was The Timeless Message, and until next time, bye for now.